Hi, my name's Henry Mathias and I work for the Care Inspectorate and I'm strategic lead for Scotland's new health and social care standards. And I wanted to share with you some memories of uh, playing as a very young child in a special place called Coplow Pit. And it's an abandoned um, chalk pit just outside Cambridge where I grew up and it's somewhere we used to go um, as uh, a family for picnics in the afternoons and have very strong memories of playing um, in this place. There's not that much to it. It's quite a small place and ultimately it's just um, an overgrown hollow on the um, edge of farmers' fields. Um, but what is it about that place that has not just stuck in the memory but grown stronger um, for me over the years? You know, maybe it's something to do with the fact that it was pretty wild place. Um, I was able just to run free. Although small, it was contained and I was able just to career off the edge of this pit, down all the paths and run round um, this hollow. And my parents, of course, were somewhere in the middle having the picnic and that was maybe safe for me. It was also something to do with the fact that it wasn't, you know, a designated play area. It wasn't a special picnic place. And so it felt really special for us as a family. And for me, it felt like it was, it was mine. It was somewhere for me to um, explore myself. There were lots of nooks and crannies as well, um, places to hide um, as children. And that made it special. Um, it was also weirdly wrapped up with um, a storybook that um, our parents were reading to us. I mean, I was young at the time. I was probably two or three years old, and this book called Stig in the Dump just absolutely um, stuck um, with us. And there was something about Coplo Pit that seemed to make Stig of the Dump and the fuzzy, exciting feelings that I had of having this book read to me really made that book come alive, this place. And so in some funny way, Coplo Pit became my kind of dump and uh, my place that I really, um, that that book came alive for me.